Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your, okay, weekly advice readings. Four cups for you, Cancer. I'm going to leave it out. Um, weekly advice reading for the week beginning March 18th, 2019. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Remember to watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising. You can watch this if you are a Cancer, if you're dealing with a Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Keep an open mind. These are general. Any information <laughs> about private readings, specials, you can find that in the description box below. So let's see. So we have the Four of Cups. I think I've showed you the Four of Cups. This is the Deviant Moon Tarot deck. It's a very, very interesting deck, very beautiful deck, very complex. It didn't speak to me for the longest time. And then all of a sudden I was very, very drawn to it, so I bought it. I'm glad it arrived in time for me to use it for these weeklies. The Six of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles. Let me, there we go. The Two of Wands in the center of your spread. Six of Wands. The death card, six of swords, and the tower. At the bottom of the deck, you have the emperor. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Now in the center of your spread, you do have the two of wands. So that is a decision to be made during this time, especially if you're dealing with fire sign energy, Aries in particular, Aries Leo Sagittarius. The two of wands, I feel, is a decision. Okay. For some, this is you're changing your mind about a decision you've already made. So you made a decision to end something, and it was done. It was fine. You've moved away from it. And then all of a sudden that decision might be overthrown. You might be changing your mind. Okay? Because you're not... Something's missing. It's not that you're not happy, but something's missing. You know? And the Four of Cups can show up in terms of on-again, off-again relationships, because I do feel like this is for relationship situations for some of you, definitely. I feel that there was a decision made to end a relationship, whether you made it or someone else made it. There was separation, moving out, it's this way around, being on your own, and it was fine, and it, it is fine, it works, you know, you've got your own things to do, and you're feeling happy, confident, like you have what you need, and all of that, but still, there's something missing. When you look closely at things, there's something missing. Oh, I switched these around too. Doesn't matter. Um, so this is about changing your mind about something that you thought was done. Done and dead and gone. Okay. Let me pull one more card for the tower. Yeah, it's a cups. So for some, you're thinking about going back. You're thinking about asking for a second chance. You're thinking about moving back in uh, or asking them to move back in, thinking about starting that relationship again. The challenge is that with the emperor here, I feel that you may feel like the other person is very, very determined not to do that. They're looking the other way. You feel like if you even try to have that conversation, you're going to get flat out rejected. Because they have the power to say yes or no. But 
But with the Ace of Cups here, this is telling you to follow your heart. So if your heart is telling you, no, speak to this person, have the conversation, it's better to know than just not know and miss out an opportunity. If your heart is telling you, have the conversation, open your heart, be vulnerable, follow your heart. Trust your heart, okay? Because with the tower, it's meant to be. Everything that's going on right now, it's meant to be. So that is that. For others of you, this is, you wanna leave your job. You wanna leave your job because you're not happy. For some, the pay is bad. For others, it's fine or it's really good, but it doesn't make you happy. You either want something that's a little bit more creative or that gives you more freedom or you wanna travel for or you want something that you have to travel less for, okay? It just depends. And I feel like... You're, you're talking to people. You may have started doing this already. You may have been applying for jobs with the Page of Cups, a uh, Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Maybe you hear back with the Page of Cups of, hey, we have a job for you from this emperor. When's the time we go? Uh, Aries, we go into Aries on the 21st. That's around Thursday. So something maybe around midweek or, or Thursday, you might hear back from this person if you've been interviewing already or sending out resumes. You might be getting a job offer. For others of you, you're leaving because you are technically a manager, but you're not being paid as a manager. Okay, so you are, it's one of them jobs where you're expected to do the job of a manager, but you're paid as a, a, an administrator, which is what you actually are on paper. Okay, so something along those lines. And you, you've had enough. You've had enough. So you're changing your job for some of you during this time. And it's, it's a good thing. It's, it's what's meant to be. You have to follow your heart and you have to do what you know is right. And you have to ask for what you're worth and not take anything less, okay? You resolve all those pentacles, not just that one that they're giving you, okay? For those of you, this could be moving during this time or moving back. So if you've been away from business or you've been away because you've been living in a different city than your father perha perhaps something around the father energy moving moving back to the family home moving back to uh, where your family lives to be closer to family maybe family moving in with you temporarily to help them out because someone's having financial troubles and they're looking for support But the tower can be moving, uprooting. The Ace of Cups can be a new home. You have the Death card talking about an ending, a new beginning. You have the Six of Swords talking about moving, moving on, moving forward. You have three sixes here talking about restoring balance or restoring something that gave you balance. And now you're feeling out of balance since it's, it was over. Or it needs to be over for the balance to be restored if it's an unfair situation or if it just does not make you happy. You might be thinking about moving closer to family or moving back with family. For some of you, this is about going back to school and you have to apply for a student loan or you have to apply for a loan of some kind if you don't qualify for a student loan for whatever reason to get closure, to get a degree, to complete something, okay? To graduate properly. And that could be the beginning of 
a new career for you because it, it gives you different opportunities now. But the bottom line is, because you're unhappy, unfulfilled, feel like something's missing, you're looking at a decision that was already made and you're going to overthrow it, change your mind because you want a new beginning or you want to restore something that made you happy. Okay? That's your bottom line. And with the Emperor there, it's a big decision. Yeah. And no one else can make it but you. So it's it's a bit of um, maturing energy, like growing up. Like, okay, well, I need to do the right thing here. I need to put my big boy pants on, big girl pants on, and take responsibility for my unhappiness, unfulfillment, boredom. Take responsibility for that and change it. Okay, that's why the Emperor's there. Because no one else can do this but you. No one else can come in and tell you what to do to make it make you happy. No one else can come in and change things for you so you don't have to get involved. You're going to have to put your heart into something. Yeah? Because the Four of Cups is apathy. Like, we don't really feel much either way. We're just bored. We just we just go through the day not feeling much. We want things to change, but we don't really do anything to make them change. So it's like, well, how are they going to change? So that's why the emperor is there. You're you're I think coming to that realization, and not only you're realizing what the situation is, and the fact that you have to make a decision, you're actually doing it. You're actually doing it because you have to take a chance on what makes you happy. Could be another water sign that completely rocks your world and now you're doubting everything that you had decided about this person. Yeah? Your additional guidance card. Let's see, for Cancer, hold on, that's too many. That's just me being sloppy. So for Cancer, additional advice for this week. Oh, God. We have karmic lessons, soulmates, meant to be. Isn't that what we said with that tower? Whatever's going on, it's meant to be. So whatever's going on is meant to be. It's part of a karmic lesson, of a karmic cycle. You are dealing with soulmate energy here. And that could be, again, with love life, absolutely. But it could be with someone in your work. Someone in your family could be your soulmate. We have more than one soulmates, and they're not all romantic. Just depends what kind of lessons we have to learn. A pet could be a soulmate, for God's sake. That's just my opinion, my experience anyway. Um, but yeah, you're dealing with some karmic cycles, and you have to make some decisions because you have some karmic lessons, and I feel that for a lot of you, this week's lesson is going to be around using your own power acknowledging your own responsibility within your own life and using your own power and the soulmate might trigger this lesson or they've triggered it for you and this is the time where you have to put a close to it apply what you've learned okay but know that nothing will be nothing will change unless you change it nothing will move in any direction until you make up your mind and you take a step in, in one direction or another. Yeah? So let me know how the cards apply to you. If they do, how they make sense to you. Remember to watch your sun, your moon, your rising, any other sign you want to watch. Have a great week. Make the most of this. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.